Hi, it's Mike with AskTractorMike.com. If you're shopping for a tractor, this is the kind of Tractor 101, there's some terms you need to know. And, and terms you'll hear thrown around a lot. And one of them is quick attach. And I'm going to talk about the two quick attaches on a lot of tractors today, what they mean, what they do, which one is important and which one not so much so. Before we talk about quick attach, let's get our terminologies right. When you're looking for a tractor and one of these things on it, you're looking for a tractor and a loader or a front end loader. I think Deere kind of calls them FELs or front end loader. But in, if you're in the tractor business or if you're a farmer, this is a tractor and this is a loader. And the loader is the brackets that go on the side that don't come off, the mainframe of the loader. And then what a lot of people refer to that they think refers to a loader but is actually not is a bucket. And the bucket is actually the, the front scoop part that goes on the tractor. That's, that's just what a bucket is. So if you go into a tractor dealership and you ask, you say, I, I want a tractor and a loader, you're going to sound like you kind of know a little bit about what you're talking about. If you go in and ask for a tractor and a bucket, they're going to kind of know you don't know as much about tractors as they do, and they may talk down to you a little bit. And the last thing, this is the one you don't want to ask for, is a tractor and a scoop. Ah. This is a scoop. It's for ice cream. It doesn't go on a tractor. Nobody in the tractor world ever uses the word scoop, just so you know, okay? Now let's talk about quick attach and why quick attach can be important. And on a, on a lot of tractors, there's, there's two quick attaches. And let's, let's go back to the beginning when, when early tractors were out and they first started coming out with front end loaders. The early loaders were not quick attach. And when I'm saying loader, if you wanted to take the complete loader off the tractor, you had to get out a bunch of tools and a hoist and basically take the whole thing apart. Well, a few years into loader manufacturing, somebody got the bright idea, we'll make a quick attach loader. So if the farmer wants to take the loader, which is this forward off the tractor, they can. And so quick attach loader refers to the mainframe of the tractor and the bucket coming off the tractor. And what, what, how that works, you've got loader brackets here that are basically a cradle and a pin right here that's holding the, the loader in place. So you just got two things holding that loader there and that's gravity into the cradle and this pin right here. And so if you wanted to take the loader off the tractor, you drop the, you, you leave, you always have the bucket on when you take the loader off. You would drop the, the bucket down to the ground, take this pin out right here, and then use hydraulics of the tractor to lift the loader frame up, back out from under it, and then when you're just a little ways out of it, you disconnect hydraulic lines and, and you'd have your loader off your tractor. That's how you take off a loader. Now I want to be real honest with you. I have never done a video on how to take a loader off a tractor because I've done it once. I never want to do it again. My dad and I, when we got our first quick attach front end loader, we decided to take it off to do some chores around the farm. Getting it off was no big deal. Getting it back on was awful. We spent four hours with come-alongs and chains and jacks, swearing and hot weather, miserable, and we finally got it back on because everything has to be lined up just perfectly to get that pin back in where it goes, get your hydraulics, get everything just right. Getting it off is not a big deal. Getting it back on can be a huge deal. But in my mind, the need for a quick attach loader was eliminated when companies came out with quick attach buckets. And let's go around to the front of the tractor and I'll show you what a quick attach bucket looks like. This is your quick attach bucket plate. Buckets off the tractor. How, how these generally work is, is there will be either two levers or it could be one lever that controls both sides. And all that really does, when you lift it up, is pull this, this pin down here, up, and so you can curl out of your loader bucket. This option, you gotta get. Quick attach bucket. I don't care whether you get a quick attach loader or not. Now most, quick most loaders are quick attach, but you never need to take them off the tractor because if you take the bucket off, most of that bulk that, that causes you trouble when you're in tight areas is gone. That's, that's, what, that's what makes the, the bucket 
the, the loader uh, tough to, to move around. So if you're in tight quarters, take the loader bucket off with your quick attach. Now this is a skid loader quick attach. And anything that fits this tractor will fit a skid loader. It's the most common. Now let's, let's talk about quick attaches. There are basically three quick attaches that come on North American farm tractors today that I know of. And that is the skid loader or bobcat quick attach, which is this. And on this system, you've got a male part on both sides that curls up under the corresponding female part on the bucket. You lift the bucket up, you put these down, that pulls down these tabs right here and locks the bucket in place. Now on this Kubota and Massey's and New Holland's and Cases and TYM's and Branson's and LS's and I'm probably forgetting somebody on almost every tractor, uh, Coyote, they have skid loader compatible quick attaches, which is nice because attachments to go on the front of these tractors are plentiful and cheap and they'll interchange with other tractors. Now you got one rebel in the business, good old John Deere, I love you Deere. They've got their own quick attach system and how it works different, the top part kind of works the same. It, it, it's got a male and a female part that comes up and then when you curl into the bucket you put a couple of linch pins uh, in, into a, 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 a tab that comes through this frame. The bottom line to it, if you have a deer you've got a different quick attach system than everybody else. That's, that's so once you buy a deer and you get all your attachments bought you won't trade for a different brand. They got you. <laughs> okay. So I like the skid loader quick attach because it's, it's, uh, the, the attachments seem to be cheaper for this. So bottom line, if you get a tractor, get the quick attach. Now a third kind, and you don't need to know this unless you get a bigger tractor, there is a, a quick attach system called a Euro. And a Euro has one distinct advantage. It's, it's uh, tabs that, go, that are spring loaded that go in to attach the bucket. I think it's largely used in Europe. It may be the only thing over there. I don't even know if you see skid load or quick attach. Some of you guys in Europe can tell me. But the nice thing about the Euro, at some point these skid load or quick attaches are not rated for the weight the tractor will pick up. So the bigger tractors almost all have the Euro attachment and they're, they're designed to pick up a lot of weight. They're spring loaded. So you get off the tractor, you, you, you get out of your attachment, you back away, you get into your attachment you're wanting to go to and when you curl that thing back on the springs shoot the locks out and it's locked in place. So you, you have one less trip off of the tractor seat which is a really nice advantage. As far as I know the Euro is only available on bigger tractors. That's like probably 80 horse on up maybe maybe even bigger than that. The smaller tractors will usually have either the deer system or the skid loader quick attach system. So that's that's quick attach 101. The quick attach loader, I, I don't worry about. Uh, you don't necessarily ever want to take the loader off and getting it back on is a hassle. Most people do it once and then they're done. I never want to do that again. But the quick attach bucket is important to get on your first tractor. And, and that will enable you to put different attachments on that tractor and, and use it for a lot of different things. My number one favorite attachment for a tractor is a set of pallet forks. Here's a video that talks about them. If you'd like to buy a set of pallet forks, they're made in Sedalia, Missouri, really good and really good visibility to the forks, go to my web store. And if you'd like to subscribe to my YouTube channel, click the mic face icon. Make sure you check the bell so you're notified when I post videos. Thanks for watching.